Waking up in a place other than my bed was disconcerting. The noisome dark air filled me with dread. It is no mere darkness I see before me, I whispered to myself, but death itself. Hello? Anyone there? Billowing wisps of damp air filled my lungs as I took in the familiar yet haunting atmosphere. I thought to myself that this may look and feel like fragments of the Westmark estate, but it is not. This looks strange.
Interesting. This looks strange. Huh. A place for gentlemen. The smell of cigar smoke and cognac soaked into the walls. Here is where the important discussions took place and decisions were made. How I used to wish to be a fly on these walls back then. You're better than this, son. You need to put in more effort. Whatever I do, it'll never be enough for you, father. Perhaps if you've stopped fooling around with school assignments, you'll be prepared for what's to come. I'm only trying to help you reach the goal we have set ahead. But father, I'm already an A-grade student. Isn't that enough? Why do you pressure me to take on more than needed? When I am gone, the time will come for you to shoulder our family legacy. To face the struggle the Westmarks have fought for ages. I will not discuss this further right now, but trust me, it's for your own good. strange.
Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. I crossed the lounge where my father was sitting by the fire, smoking a pipe. Son? I need to have a word with you. But father... Come closer. With quivering steps I approached the chair, for I knew what he could do to me. Trust is a fragile thing, you know. Either you have it, or you break it. I stood there in total silence. I have given you a considerable amount of time to change your ways. I expect a modicum of respect in return. You're a man now, and it's time you took some responsibility. Social activities during the day is all well and good, but sneaking out after nightfall is very loose behavior for a man of your stature. Have you not heard a word I've said? He grabbed me by the arm and moved to reveal an empty bottle standing on the side table. Father, no, please. Stop twiddling around and come with me, boy. I remember him taking a faulty step and tumbling down the stairs like a doll, breaking every bone in his body. A cracking echo reverberated across the hall while I stood there in shock. All alone, a sigh of fear and relief slipped out through my lips as I thought to myself, Father is dead. Hello there. Nice seeing you around. 